Gabe, the dog who sniffs out danger. It was a hot day in the war zone. A group of United States soldiers were out on a mission. They were looking for explosives. Gabe, a dog working in the army, walked in front. Gabe walked without a leash, about a hundred yards ahead of, of one of the soldiers. That soldier was his partner, Chuck. He followed Chuck's commands for searching the steep areas by the banks of the rivers. Gabe used his nose to search. He sniffed the hot ground and the hot windy air. His fur was hot. His paws were hot too, but Gabe did not stop. Every step that Gabe took was dangerous. Explosives could be buried anywhere. So co some could go off just one, one little foot touching the ground above them. And Gabe, he had four feet. One wrong step could cost him his life. Chuck followed and watched Gabe. All the soldiers had total faith in Gabe. They trusted him and his nose with their lives. Suddenly, Gabe stopped. He sat down. That was his way of telling Chuck he had found something. Come here, boy, Chuck called. Gabe trotted over to Chuck's side. The soldiers searched the area, buried under the ground that found explosive material that, that could have been used to ki hurt and kill many people. The soldiers might not have found the explosives without Gabe. No person or machine can smell things as well as a trained dog can. Gabe saved many lives that day. He was a hero. The soldiers all thanked Gabe. They rubbed his head. They patted his side. Chuck gave him a hug and his favorite toy as a reward. Back at the base, the rest of the soldiers gathered around and thanked Gabe, too. The soldiers were thankful for what the work that Gabe did. Uh, they also liked having a dog on the, at their base when they were so far from home. Everyone liked to spend time with Gabe. Gabe loved all the attention, but his favorite person was Chuck. He and Chuck were a team. They did everything everything together. They worked together and they played together. Gabe had come a long way from his days at an animal shelter in Houston, Texas. He did not belong to anyone then. He did not even know how to sit on command. An animal rescue group found him. They took Gabe out of the shelter and sent him to the United States Army. The Army put Gabe in a program that trained dogs to find dangerous hidden explosives. Chuck was in the Army. He enrolled in the program to work with dogs. When he and Gabe met, it was love at first sight. Chuck liked that Gabe was a calm and friendly dog. The two trained together for five months in an Army base in Texas. Gabe learned to tune out everything except for Chuck's voice. Chuck learned how to understand Gabe's smallest movements. When Gabe and Chuck were ready, they were sent to Iraq. Gabe and Chuck put all their training to work. Gabe searched riverbeds and riverbanks. He searched houses and other buildings. He searched flat open fields and rocky, hilly places. He sniffed cars that had to stop at the army checkpoints. Some days, Gabe and Chuck did not go to work looking for explosives. They stayed at the base and practiced. Other days, Gabe and Chuck went to see wounded soldiers at army hospitals. Gabe wagged his tail and opened his mouth. It looked like Gabe was smiling. Gabe cheered everyone up. He was good medicine. Just see how happy that soldier is. Gabe and Chuck were in Iraq for 
13 months, they went on more than 200 missions. Gabe found explosives 26 times. Gabe found more explosives than any other dog that served in Iraq. Gabe got 40 awards for all his hard work. He was also named the country's top hero dog at the American Humane Association. The Hero Dog Awards, that one, the American Humane Association Hero Dog Awards, one year. The best reward, though, was that Chuck was able to adopt Gabe after Gabe got, was retired from the Army. Gabe and Chuck visited kids in schools. Gabe inspired many kids. He taught them about respect and about doing a tough job that when it is important. Some days, Gabe just played. He played with other dogs. Gabe was a hero for his country, but he still liked to catch balls. Woof, woof.